Hey there, and welcome to the Tranquil Shop. So recently, I got this book, Crochet Tips and Techniques, published by Publications International. And I started working on this fox design that is on the cover. When I realized that the book isn't written exactly correctly. So I was in the middle of recording this video for this fox when I realized it. And I instead worked on a different fox cube pattern, which looked like this when I was finished with it. Very similar. I have it standing up just because I like the way it stands up better, but it is like originally supposed to lay down. Very similar to the fox on the cover. Now what I'm assuming is that this is like a bootleg book and that they stole the pattern for this fox rewrote it for in here, but didn't rewrite it correctly. And while I was making that fox, I decided that I was going to make the fox as written in this book as well, just to show you the difference and how it wouldn't exactly have come out the way it should have. Before the events of this video, I made the base for the fox. This is actually like the first thing I did and then after this I realized that this was probably a bootleg. So I'm just going to finish the rest of the details for this fox. This is just basically going to be a fun little video. My goal for this is to just basically show you how badly this is written and compare the finished project here to this one that I made using the actual pattern by Crafty Bunny Bun and see how it turns out. So I'm going to get started on this. Following the pattern in here. Very white for a second there. And let's see how this goes. Okay, so I had to fudge it a little bit. Um, this pattern asks you to do, I don't even know how to explain it. It asks you to decrease, but without giving you enough to decrease. So I just, once I got to like one stitch per round, I just kept going until it finally told me to increase. So here is the snout. You already know this is going to be a wild project. Um, it's going to fit on the nose or on the body like this. So now I'm about to work on the ears and I will let you know how that goes. I do want to note that this is not me having like a vendetta against Publications International or bashing them. I mean, I'm bashing them a little bit for just having the audacity to publish this book and send this out into the world when it's so bad. But this isn't me like just making this up in order to get views or something. This is literally like, I found this book, I started using it, and I realized that it wasn't good. I am trying my best to make this look good. You know, following it ex exactly as written, not really making many changes in order to make it look the best that it can be, but I'm certainly not intentionally making things look bad. This is just like truly following the directions exactly as written, how it turns out. I guess I just wanted to say that because it just popped into my mind that somebody may be watching this video and going, why are you doing this? Um, thinking that it's fake or something. I promise you, this is not fake. I am following exactly as it's written in the book. Mm -hmm. 
So I finished crocheting the wonky fox cube thing and I'm actually pretty surprised by how well it turned out, especially when I noticed that some things were going a little bit wrong. The, since I made, you know, the, what I think is the original pattern, there's really no way for me to know 100% for sure. But since I made like an actual pattern that looks very similar to this, I can say that the legs in this book are the exact same. The body is made the exact same, just not with the same colors. I'll show you that in a second. The tail is the same. The ears are a really interesting taste because it looks wonky on paper and like it's not going to turn out well but in real life once you make it they look pretty good the original pattern's ears look better um but the ears on this pattern are sufficient enough that they don't look bad it's just the nose the the snout section I can't get over it. Like I said, um, I can't 100% follow the pattern for this snout in this book exactly as written because it's literally impossible. It's having you do like about negative 10 stitches. And I don't know how to do a negative st stitch. I don't think anybody in the world knows how to do a negative stitch. But when we figure it out together, as a community, I will let you know. Let me just show you what it looks like and you can understand. I tried my best in the places where I was getting negative stitches. I just defaulted to one because that was the least that I could do. And we came up with this. Yeah, let me show you the original design just for some comparison. Like I said, the tails are exactly the same, the bodies are pretty much exactly the same, just this one includes a white section of the body, whereas this one is completely orange. And I think that's fine, I think they were going with this one to have a more beginner pattern because the color changes in this one make it a little bit more difficult. So I don't think that that's a negative in this pattern. I think that was sort of intentional. The legs are the exact same. This one I sewed on differently just because I really like the idea of it standing up, whereas this one I sewed on so that it had to lay down. The ears, the ones on this one look better, but these don't look too bad. Like. That's an okay ear. The noses, though, like I'm still just flabbergasted with... What? And that's what I was noticing as I started this pattern. I have too many things in my hands. In this book, I noticed that the nose was about to go a little bit wonky. And that's when I sort of put this down and looked up the original so I could actually make it and then we have this whole thing of like I might as well make it exactly as written in this book just to show you a visual of how it turns out like this. So I'm not 100% sure what I am going to do with this version of the fox. I would say that I'd give it to one of my dogs as a little toy because she loves yarn for some reason um, but she's also very hard on her toys and this would be destroyed in like five seconds. So I'm not 100% sure what to do with this, but in the future, maybe I'll have an idea for it. But with this made, that is the end of this video. Uh, like I said, just a little fun and interesting concept of realizing that this book wasn't correct and doing it anyways, just to show off. That doesn't mean that I would never work from this book again, though. They do have a couple of other patterns in this book, and I'm very interested in this granny bag. I don't think that they could at all possibly 
mess up a granny square. So I think I'd like to do that eventually in the future. I also really like this flower bookmark, but not those colors. So I definitely work with this book again, but I do want to put it out there that this book is probably a bunch of stolen patterns and it's probably not the best idea to buy it. Maybe in the future on this channel you will see this book again as I work through a couple of other patterns and see if it's just the fox in this that's a little wonky or if it's the whole book. Anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you can check out some good looking products on our store at thetrankleshop.com and I hope to see you in the future, whether that is here on YouTube in another video. We also have an Instagram that you can check out, see our beautiful pictures of our things or just check out in a literal sense on our website. Either way, I hope to see you later, and this is goodbye for now.